Hey folks, Matt here, SEP301. Today is a, a freestyle Friday and we're gonna keep working in the, the DOM, the document object model, which is the idea of working in a JavaScript sketch on P5, but also working in HTML and CSS to bring um, all your ideas together into one giant kind of web page with some interactive drawing stuff and web elements such as um, images and uh, headings and maybe directions. So let's uh, think about how we can how we can do that today. I'm going to show you guys a few tips and tricks uh, to customize your drawing. Uh, right now, I'm just going to take mine back to where it was when we last left off. Um, I've logged into P5, and you should open up your your drawing from the last assignment. And hopefully, if you got that done, you should have a background HTML color. Um, let me get rid of this stuff too. Boom and boom so basic p5 sketch really haven't done anything in p5 because this is just the basic right here right but if you do this uh file tree here and in the index.html what did we do we did a couple things we added an h1 tag it says welcome to my drawing and that's why this shows up here we added an img image tag and I chose a picture of some pizza and I changed the width so that shows up here and then in CSS I styled my h1 with color red and um, I used text align center and background black to obtain this black background and to center my uh, drawing and to center the image the image gets centered because it's part of the body and HTML uh, CSS tag, which are both wrapped up in here. So we have this kind of stuff affecting both the image and the H1. Um, so yeah, how can we take this further? Well, let's, uh, let's think about the whole page ecosystem and how we might present a page that makes kind of sense and make a little like maybe drawing, a little uh, OCD drawing uh, app like this right here with some cool colors for Freestyle Friday. Uh, the first thing we want to do is how do we get this drawing centered on the page? Because you notice it's sticking to the left-hand side. Well, that's pretty easy. This canvas CSS piece, even though there's no canvas here in our uh, HTML, normally these are linked, right? If you see an HTML tag like H1, you usually have that tag here in CSS. Well, there's no canvas tag, but the canvas is being created by the script.js that's referring to um, p5.js's libraries. That's also happening up here in the head in case you're wondering what these scripts are. These are saying, hey, look at p5's library to get all that p5 stuff so that you can make a drawing down here. So that's why Canvas shows up in our CSS. And just like a div, if you remember doing divs in past um, uh, SEP classes, the way we make a div in the center is we do margin colon auto semicolon. And now my drawing is centered on the screen. So a couple more things I might want to do for Freestyle Friday is change the proportion of this drawing. So when I open up the page, I don't have to scroll down to see it at all. So it looks like 400 is too high and 400 is too maybe too narrow. So I go back to Sketch.js and let's do an 800 wide, um, maybe 250 tall canvas. So now I've got this canvas here um, that should fit on a page. And again, a great way to keep checking your work, hit save, hit file, share, copy your full screen link, and you can see what your drawing looks like. So right now, I like this because the, the P5 sketch fits on the screen. I might actually make this image and change this, make it a little smaller too. Um, but So it's looking pretty good. It's centered. It's squashed in, in kind of like long format now. I kind of like that. Um, one little experiment, can I change the order and make the picture under the drawing? I don't know if I can, uh, but let's just try it. Maybe I'll fail here and uh, it won't work. Um, yeah, it looks like something weird happened and now I can't see my drawing. So let's not do that. Let's keep that where it was and so we can see the drawing. Okay, so now, um, I might want to change um, 
my maybe I want to change my image. I could do something like uh, falling confetti gif, and uh, I'll look up images and see if there's a cool. Um, let's see, like a, I don't know. You might want something that has motion. It's up to you though. This is kind of neat. Uh, this is not as cool. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That's a transparent one. Interesting. Let's go with this one. I'm going to copy that image address and I'm going to replace my pizza image that I had in here with this uh, animated one. So now that should show up. That's kind of cool. Um, maybe I'll take uh, maybe I'll take this. There was a transparent one. I want to take it as a background image. Whoops. Let's go back. Let's copy that image address. And one thing you can do in style.css, background color black, you can do uh, background dash image URL parentheses, boom, like this, I think. Does that work? It does work. Check that out. Cool. So now I've got this background image. Um, that is transparent, a transparent GIF over a black background, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, what happens if we change the background back to white? Does that GIF look better? It's up to you. The black is kind of cool. Confetti looks a little more flowy and, and, and real with the white background, but I don't know, something about the black background I kind of like. It's up to you. This is Freestyle Friday, so that's what you want to try and do is style some stuff. Now on my image in index 400 picks width, maybe I want to do a height as well to make it smaller. So let's do 200 px and see what that does. Can I change that 100 px? Ah, yeah, that's kind of squished. I really don't like that. So I just want to show you guys you can actually put a height in here as well as a width in your IMG tag. And now for the drawing. So how can I make this drawing fit in with this background a little better? Um, I could uh, change the background to black. And what I want to do is move it up to function setup. Again, you don't have to do this, but I'm, I'm doing a, uh, um, interactive drawing here so that, uh, it's fun to like actually go to my page. Maybe I'll do a fill with mouse X mouse y divided by two and then put 100 here and so now um, i can draw some confetti type stuff on the screen with a black background it just looks neat and i'm going to put another uh, html tag in here i'm going to do a p tag or maybe i'll do an h3 underneath h1 let's do an h3 and i'll say um I'll give them some directions about what to do in the drawing. Um, scroll your mouse over the canvas to create a drawing. Close H3. It's an H3 tag. So I run it. You can't see it, but it's there. Do you see that? So now I have to style it. Go to style.css, and on a new line, I'm going to do H3, open. And let's choose a color for it. Um, how about pink? And let's see what happens. Ah, now you can read that text. Um, we can also do some cooler stuff like putting a border and a background around the header here. So if I go to H1, I can do background dash color um, turquoise. Can I do that? Turquoise? Does turquoise work? Yes, it does. Nice. Um, I can do a border, which is uh, five pixels, and it is magenta, and it is dotted. What does that do? Look at that. Cool dots. And now I can do some padding of maybe 10 pixels, and watch what that does. It gives my words 
some room. It gives it some room there. So now I've made some changes. I've added some CSS. I've added a new CSS tag for H3. I added a new H3 uh, descriptor telling my audience what to do when they get here. I changed my image. I'm kind of freestyling this thing. I'm going to file, save. I'm going to file, share, and check out the full screen. And hey, the full screen looks pretty good. I like this top here. I like this drawing and look now I can kind of play on the page and draw these really cool colors it's like I'm drawing my own confetti with this confetti background I've basically turned my drawing into a party this is a party freestyle Friday party so this is some cool stuff you can do with uh, the document object model by coding HTML and CSS along with a drawing to kind of present the drawing and give it some context, right? Um, if I want to be real fancy, I might come into index and at the very bottom, after script, I might make a, whoops, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Ooh. After script, I might make a div class equals foot and um, let's close that div so I don't forget to close it. And then here I could say uh, copyright 2021 Matthew Boyle. Yeah, that looks cool. What if I did a uh, copyright symbol and actually grabbed the copyright symbol? What? I'm just going to copy that. What? I can do that. And now I can, instead of copyright, I can just go bing copyright symbol now I've got div class foot you can't read it's down there but you can't read it because it's uh, it's too small actually let's make this a p tag p and then close p and now let's style p and CSS we're doing some more CSS here p open curly bracket color yellow can we see it now there it is, copyright 2012, Matthew Boyle, sweet. File save, file sh share, check the full screen. And cool, now I've signed it. I've signed my work, it looks neat. This is cool, I dig it. All right, Freestyle Friday, get to it. Use some of these tips and tricks and make your own. It doesn't have to be confetti. You can customize your colors. It doesn't have to be this drawing, you could put your uh, you could put your ping pong game in here and present it as pong and like play pong online and then say use your mouse to do the paddle and just take your pong game from a previous project or take one of your previous projects and put put it in here and decorate it with uh, background image image um, h1 h3 try some different divs uh, make it creative. It's like a little it's like a little mini project but it should be fun we did that in less than 15 minutes whoa I'm at 13 minutes boy that was quick enjoy your Friday and uh, good luck use this video to help you out see ya